At the 2012 Horizon League Outdoor Championship in May of 2012, the Youngstown State University women's track and field team placed first while the men finished second. The Penguins have spent the year between then and now training for the indoor championships this past weekend at the Watson and Trestle training site. The men and women both finished third. Basically it's a matter of how much time you put in uh, in regard to what you get out of it, how much time you can give to those kids to help them develop, how much time you can give to the kids out in the community to help recruit them here and stuff. Their next goal is set on the NCAA championships beginning on March 8th in Arkansas and the process starts all over again. Anna Pompeo runs in the distance events and logs about 70 miles of running a week when training. Basically doing what coach says and then trusting our bodies too. If we don't feel 100% one day, maybe cutting back that day and improving the next day. Hurlers require unique training called high intensity interval training or HIT in order to get the explosiveness to sprint to get to each hurdle while maintaining speed to clear each hurdle. What we're working with is tempo runs, which means that we're doing um, multiple short runs at a high burst um, with minimum rest in between each. So our body is constantly at a burning state for 48 hours after each of our workouts. Senior jumper Laura Kosorek uses the momentum from her teammates to reach her personal best. It's really important for you as an individual athlete to do your best and as long as you do your best, your team kind of feeds off of that. Coach Gorby says that resting is just as important as training. R and R, of course, is, is vital. We feel that uh, again, definitely, you put load on a on a on a uh, muscle. Again, you have to, of course, take that load off. When competing, athletes need to train their minds as well as bodies to push through the hazards of each event. I think of ice cream or songs in my head to keep me going. What I want to do after I'm done running, <laughs> so it makes it go faster. It's kind of scary. You see people crash or poles break. Um, but you have to just stay motivated to try to work harder to be better so that stuff doesn't happen to you. Uh, Mentally, like when I'm coming down the runway, I try not to think about the board, you know. I just try and look up uh, at the back of the pit or, you know, somewhere in the stands. After the NCAA championships, the Penguins will then prepare for the Horizon League Outdoor Championship, which begins on May 3rd in Eastern Michigan. The Penguins work the majority of their lives for these opportunities, and they'll be ready. It's just a thrill, it's an adrenaline. adrenaline, we're all adrenaline junkies here pretty much is what it is, so it's an adrenaline sport.